Hi, it's Alex. Uh, in my last video I talked about attraction, among other things, and I realized that I wanted to talk more about the topic of attraction. And I was thinking about this idea that I've encountered in our society. And it's an idea I used to believe, and it's an idea that I think is not the most healthy or wholesome idea. So what's this idea? It is that it is somehow better to be attracted to someone for their personality than to be attracted to them for their body. Now I don't know about you, but like I used to believe this, and it, it seemed so painfully obvious and common sense to me that I didn't really question it for a really long time. I think part of the reason I believe this idea was that I saw a lot of objectification of women in our society, and it really bothered me. And I would hear these ideas being voiced like, oh, it's so horrible when men only want women for their bodies, and people would express like, oh, I want someone to like me for deeper reasons, like I want to like them to like me for who I am, and things like that. And like, it's sort of this like common sense thing that I was just like, okay, yeah. Over time though, like, I've started to see some problems with this idea of like separating attraction into attraction to body and attraction to personality, and then judging the attraction to the body as bad. Like, one of the things that got me questioning this is that I started thinking about how people don't necessarily choose their sexual attraction, or their uh, romantic orientation, so sexual orientation or romantic orientation. Like, I'm mostly attracted to women, I didn't choose that, it's just the way I'm wired. Um, and there's some people who are mostly attracted to men, exclusively attracted to men, exclusively attracted to women, some people are attracted to everyone. You know, like, we all have our own individual experience, and for the most part we don't choose it or control it. And I think that there's a degree to which the sex characteristics and other characteristics of a person's body that we're attracted to are a little bit like that too. And I think it's not really worthwhile to judge ourselves for placing importance on certain things, uh, certain elements of our attraction that we may not choose or have control over. There are some other ways in which I have problems though with this idea that attraction to the body is bad and attraction to personality is good. And one of them is that there are ways in which we don't even choose our personality traits. Like, a lot of us have things that we picked up from socialization that was forced on us. An example of this, I was raised as male, because I have a male assigned body. I don't identify as male, I identify as non-binary. I didn't choose to be subjected to male socialization, but I was. So I grew up with this whole series of ways of thinking that were kind of pushed on me. Um, some of them I think are good, some of them I think are bad. Other examples, like uh, I picked up both good and bad habits from both of my parents, and those things influenced my personality. And I think that there's a degree to which I've grown and moved beyond some of the things that I didn't like, both about like my gender socialization or habits I picked up from my parents, but there's also a degree to which I'm limited in my ability to move beyond those things. So like if someone's looking at me, and they're like attracted to certain qualities in my personality, and maybe they feel not so great about other aspects of my personality, some of those things are going to be things where I'm like, yeah, this is a really important aspect of who I am, it's who I really want to be. Others of them though are things that I didn't choose. And just because something is an aspect of my personality doesn't mean that it's necessarily better for a person to be like judging me by this thing than some aspect of my body. Um, also, there are ways in which aspects of our body can be like deeper and like maybe a matter of choice. I'm pretty cautious about complimenting other people for their body, but like an example of a situation in which this went kind of not the way you might expect, I once was like, I once told someone that I thought she had really nice legs, and I was a little bit cautious of doing this, uh, but I did anyway. And I was surprised that she was really happy to receive that compliment, and she was like, you know, that means a lot to me because I work really hard on my legs. I work really hard to work out and to like tone the muscles, and like, yeah, like she really appreciated that compliment. It was a little bit surprising to me because I've also seen people respond really negatively to compliments on their body. 
I'm just throwing that out there, though, to show you that this dichotomy of, like, body bad, shallow, and, like, personality deep and good, that is a problematic dichotomy. Uh, I think attraction is complex, and I think that our attraction to people's bodies is a good thing. I think our attraction to their personality is a good thing. I don't necessarily think it's any deeper when you like someone's personality. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it's not. I think when you're talking about that attraction to someone's body, I think what matters also is how you're channeling it. I don't think it's necessarily inherently objectifying just because you feel attracted to a person's body. I think that the key issue is that you channel that into feelings of respect for a person as a whole, and also uh, interest in the person as a whole person. I think if you're doing that, then your attraction to their body is a good thing. Uh, I think where it goes awry is if you're focusing on that to the exclusion of like looking at the person as a human being, as like a whole person. Uh, yeah, that's what I have to say. I'd love to hear from you. Does any of this resonate with your experience? Do you have anything to add? Please comment. Yeah, thank you.